Today I made some cat origami toys. Uh, I'm going to show you why and how I did it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose. I go by City Aperture. And, uh, Today, I decided to make some cat toys. Uh, you see, one of my cats is very difficult to buy toys for her. Uh, she just loves, and I'll, I'll put some videos so you guys can see. She kind of just loves paper, and uh, she loves paper, and she loves boxes. The little, one of the videos is her playing with a, with a little box of uh, um, nerds, and those are kind of her favorite things. So one day I was just sitting by the TV and she was just looking for something to play so I made her uh, origami crane out of paper and she just loved it so I've had to keep making her some because uh, she goes through them pretty quick. So I finally decided like you know maybe I could find a more durable way of making these toys for her. Um, so I set out to do just that. Um, I'll walk you through the process um, of how I went about doing it. Alright, so let's look at the different materials we're going to use. we got nine of them. The first one is basically a paper, um, but it's more than... It's a little thicker than just regular paper. This is a cardstock I bought at the art store. It's a little thicker, it holds a little better, I think it'll be more durable. we got two, one has a little bit of a texture, the other one is just smooth. So we'll see how that does. That's a cardstock, so that's two out of nine. The next one is this inkjet fabric sheets I have. I've had this for a long time, I never use them. Um, they're supposed to be so you can print on them and then attach it to a shirt or a canvas bag like you see here. One side is fabric, the other side is kind of a smooth paper. We're going to try and fold to see how it holds the folds. Um, but yeah, we'll set that aside. Next one, number four, is also a canvas. Well, it's a fabric that it's for printing as well, and it's a canvas this time. And here, let me take one out. I've had this forever. Um, but yeah, it's you know just your typical canvas like you would see on a, on a painting. You can see there's a texture on one side. The other side's a little more smooth. So we'll see. I think this will hold the fold well as well. Next one, we get more into the more fabric-y ones. This is felt. It's a blue felt I had from another project that did way a while back. We'll see how well this folds. But yeah, essentially just a thick blue felt. Uh, got a ton of it, so we'll cut it into squares. See how well it folds. Then this is sort of a purple fabric I've had. It, it's got a bit of a pull and a bit of a stretch, but it's very smooth. Um, so I think it'll hold up well because it's not your typical fabric. It's very uh, silky. So we'll set that aside. I say silk, this is synthetic. This one is a pleather that I took. I, I had a stool and I took this off of it and I put another fabric on it when I added more padding. So yeah, this is just some kind of synthetic pleather stuff. We'll see how this holds a fold to it, um, set that aside. Then we have this fabric here. This is actually car upholstery fabric that we've had for years. Um, it's very stiff. It's got a lot of texture to it. Very durable for sure. I think this will probably hold up the best of all the fabrics. We'll see how it holds a fold. Um, but yeah, car upholstery fabric. And then the last contender, um, we'll see how this goes, but this is a candy wrapper for M&M's. It's basically a plasticized paper, I guess you would call it, I don't know. But uh, I think it'll hold the folds really well, and she likes the sound that it makes. So I think it'll make some good sounds. We'll get a square out of here, and uh, yeah, let's see how this one goes, last contender. Let's get to folding. So there we go, there's 
nine different uh, squares and five nine different materials right so gonna start making some cranes see which one the cat likes better see which one holds up the best So there you guys have it, that's how I went through and made nine different origami toys. Um, here are two of them, and I'll have a photo and videos up while I sort of close up the video here. Uh, but the plan is I'm gonna let her play with this nine, well eight, because like I mentioned, one of them uh, didn't come out very well. It was very difficult to fold that fabric. Um, so I've made this n eight cranes, and uh, I'm gonna let her play with them see how they all hold up and see what's better and then I can make more and a bigger variety of them from that material uh, so I'll put up another video once that's figured out but you know thanks for watching hopefully this inspires somebody, some of you guys to make some of these kind of toys for your cats uh, if you do let me know comment uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for watching guys hey the challah here she is Chella, the head of the camera. Oh, here's your new toy. Here's your new toy. Yeah, here's your new toy. Where's the good girl? Doing that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.